Hi again, everyone. Scott Pyre, Pop Cult Fan here. And in this video, it is finally time to do my full review for Halloween Ends, the newest Halloween movie that just came out. It's available now in theaters, but it's also available on Peacock. And I, wa I just finished watching it on Peacock, so I want to give my thoughts on it. Oh boy. Um, I could see this being a pretty divisive movie. Um... I'm not sure how other people, where other people are saying about the movie because I avoided review. I, I tried to avoid watching any reviews because I wanted to like watch the movie myself first and get my own impressions on the movie. And so, you know, I, I'm not sure what other people say, are saying at the moment. But for me personally, um, oh, okay. Um, positives first. <laughs> Um, the performances um, uh, are all, once again, um, really amazing. I, I love Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. She always has been such a great um, uh, lead star in these movies, and I've always liked her character. I've always enjoyed her, her story throughout all three of these movies, despite me having problems with these movies. Um, and just... Uh, and then also uh, Andy Maticek as her granddaughter Allison. She was really great in her role. And I liked the new lead actor uh, in this movie as well. Uh, the actor that the actor that played Corey. They introduced him as like a new lead in this movie. Uh, it's and I thought he was really good in his role. Uh, it's just what they do with his character. Uh, it just didn't. It didn't flow naturally, I guess. Um, I liked how wh where they started his character at the beginning of the movie, but then, you know, uh, towards the end of the movie, uh, <laughs> what they did with his character was just uh, a little confusing, I guess. Uh, I, I don't want to spoil it. I, wanna give, I, I don't want to give any spoil spoilers in this review, but what they do with his character, it was a little confusing to me, uh, watching uh, what he... Uh, watching his character and the things that you know sort of influenced him I guess you could say uh, and then also Michael Myers of course uh, James Jude Courtney as a character in these three movies he's really great and as Michael Myers uh, I think he's definitely the, the most violent uh, version of Michael Myers that we've had Aside from maybe Tyler Maine and the Rob Zombie uh, remake and the sequel to that. Uh, but yes, uh, definitely some really creative uh, and unique kills in this movie is too. So for those of you that are slasher fans that like to see cr creative and unique kills in slasher films, uh, there's definitely some of that. There is de definitely some of that in this movie, but also not quite as many as you would probably expect a lot of Michael Myers was sort of backloaded into the third act, which leads into my main issue with this movie. Uh, a lot of it is focused on Corey, and because of that, we barely see much of Michael Myers until the third act. Um, and I understand that they want to, you know, build up to that final confrontation between Laurie and Michael. And, and while that part of the movie is great to watch, there's just a lot of it setting up Corey's character and also his relationship with Allison, uh, which, you know, worked for the most part. Uh, but some of the writing just wasn't... Uh, what Some of the writing wasn't well written I guess uh, the story was not too great and I do think that they did an okay job concluding this film but maybe not the whole trilogy I don't know the conclusion um the conclusion to this movie I thought it was I thought it was okay um I just didn't think that I feel like they could have just done something a different to where uh you know Michael's presence would still be felt um, even 
after what happened to his character. I'm not going to spoil it, but I feel like his presence could have been felt a little bit more as the credits started to roll. Uh, I, I would have liked to have seen that in the when the right as the movie was ending, still feeling his presence throughout the city of Haddonfield, kind of like how the original film ended, uh, the original 78 film, how that film ended. Uh, I feel like they could have done a similar ending with this one that I feel like would have been better con in concluding the trilogy. But uh, other than that, though, I think the music is really great. Uh, John Com Carpenter, I believe, returned as a composer as for this film as well, so that was great as well. And it was nice to see... Uh, some familiar faces from the previous films so that was really cool and then the way this movie opens I f okay um the way this movie opens it was interesting I'm not gonna spoil it but i feel like there's like two separate openings like you get the opening with Corey and then the opening with Lori. I feel like they should have put hers first and then his because they opened with Corey for uh and that was how the movie began. And then we picked up with Lori. I feel like they should have picked up with her first and then with Corey. But, I mean, that's fine. Uh, but, yeah, I don't want to spoil anything. So, I did enjoy this movie. And I think if I had to give a ranking for these three movies in particular, I think my favorite is still Halloween 2018. And then Halloween Kills. And then this movie that's probably my ranking <laughs> the first film in this trilogy still my favorite Halloween Kills also I uh, really enjoyed that one I like that one more than this one and yeah so let's see if I had to give a grade for this movie ooh maybe a B minus maybe a B maybe a B minus I'd probably give it a B minus. So yeah, that's my grade for Halloween ends. I feel like they could have done a little bit better with the writing and also concluding the whole trilogy. They could have done that a little bit better. But I did enjoy this movie, though. I'm not going to lie. I, I did enjoy Lori. I, I really enjoyed her character. And I really liked Allison and Corey as a new lead. I did like his character. But were they... Um, left his character and what he was doing throughout the film just was a little bit confusing to me um so that's really it for this review uh thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you all in the next one um we'll s i think the new black adam movie is also coming out pretty soon so i think that's next weekend and i'll definitely see that movie in theaters uh when i can uh hopefully with my buddy sean uh if he's free so Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.